Speaking about PT, uh, did you ease into running? Uh, was it hard at, when you first started when you were there? And also, what about those push-ups? How often did you have to do them? You get put in running groups. Um, in the beginning, you do a little one-mile test. And the strong runners got put together, and then the slower ones. And then the slow runner group, they practiced our breathing, um, practiced our strides, uh, went on like shorter runs, but we would do hit time. So we would do sprints to a few light poles and then we'd do squats to slow down our breathing and then we'd start again. So that helped me with my run time. I would say a big part of it for me was you don't run every day. You run every other day. You do, you know, you have a rest day, like you'll do running on Monday and then Tuesday you'll, you know, you'll do upper body workouts and then Wednesday you're back to running. So your legs have time to recover in between run days. For someone who has never ran before coming here, it's pretty easily adjustable because you're not just thrown right into it. You know, you're going to work yourself into it. The working you into it, and they're also making sure you stay stretched. You have athletic trainers that'll come and show you a multitude of different stretches to go through, and then you're able to learn those stretches and on your own free time kind of do them, and you just get yourself feeling the best you've ever felt before. <laughs> about the push-ups <laughs> so there's there's really no getting away from them like yes. arnold had said you can have 37 guys who are all perfect but then that 38th guy you know he might have his occasional mess ups so it's really just about coming together as a team and picking up for that one guy you know who maybe struggles in certain things and helping him out to better yourself yeah. as a group because if if you're all 37 worrying about yourself and you're not trying to get better as a team and you're going to do a, a lot more push-ups than 38 people who all work together, you know. And I'd say a nice thing about basic and you all ask about push-ups is you're not doing push-ups by yourself. Like, you're embracing it all together. When it comes to any kind of individualized training, it doesn't really exist. You, you operate as a team. You live as a team. You work as a team. You're, uh, for lack of a better word, you're disciplined as a team. Mass punishment. Mass punishment. <laughs> it's, it's definitely... Uh, the only punishment that exists <laughs> and it uh, makes you so much stronger and and it really when you're having a bad day the person that may be stronger at push-ups will help you through each one because you will be sore every day but the sore is almost addicting at the end if you're not sore you don't feel like you worked hard enough that day don't just worry about the push-ups though worry about the squats <laughs> the squats <laughs> yeah. is for sure the killer <laughs>